SSG. Have you seen my wife? No. I never sat this morning. She never passed this gate. That means she's inside. I hope no problem, Sha. such a thing. Do you think it's everybody that's mentally and physically strong? This is a woman who loves you with all her heart. Now the result is unfolding. Let's pray this does not cause any damage in her. Seriously. Anything. We told them we're going to get something. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Please leave the wheel. Fred, get down. Leave the wheel. Thank <laughs> you. 
Can you imagine? saying i don't get this wasn't what you told me the last time and now you're singing a new song if it sounds like a new song to you so be it because you caused it on yourself all i'm trying to say is that her soft center had been affected seriously due to the pains henceforth you'll be noticing some strange changes especially not of your own I hope she will recognize me. Also. Hold on to myself. How on earth do you think that is possible? I just can't stop thinking of how foolish I've been. Look at what I did to that poor woman. Just because I want to know if she's cheating on me or if she truly loves me. Now I know. I just take a good look at her. Do not judge yourself. I have not said anything. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Let's see if something positive can come out of it. My goodness, what put Fred in doing this? What? I knew how much I spoke to him. What he bent on fulfilling his schemes. Calling me names. Anyways. What about her family? Does he have plans in returning there? Yes. I spoke to him, but he said no. He said he's going to cause more damage than good. This is somebody's daughter. She's somebody's daughter and she has a family too. I know. But let's just cross our fingers. Let's keep our fingers crossed and see if there will be an improvement before going to the family. Fred is making another mistake. Tell him I said so. If there is anyone to do the telling, it should be him. 
not us. Do you understand? Joyce, do you understand? I do, I do, I do. Good. Do you understand what I'm saying? Did you understand? Fred, did you understand me? Um, understand what? Have you been talking, Doctor? If you ask me what you've been saying, I swear I do not know. That is because your body is here but your mind is absent. What did you say? It's very difficult, but you have to hear it. What? Go ahead, what is it? Let's chew up. My love. I do not care about what the doctor said. I know who you are. I know the woman I married. You're a fighter. And we will come out victorious. Ah. We can always go back to the time we started. We can start everything all afresh. <laughs> when everything was fruitful. Rosie, when we used to be happy together, just like the very first time we met. <laughs>
us rebuild. Let us unite together. We will win. Let us rebuild. Reunite. Together. Yes. We can. Thank you. How is Madame? She's getting better. Ah, thank God. Maybe by Sunday I'll come and see her. I don't think that would be necessary. The doctor said that all she needs now is rest, not disturbance. Sir, so I thought you said she's getting better. Oh yes, she's getting better, but. I don't have to go contrary to what the doctor said. She needs rest, not visit, not to stop this. Okay, sir. Um, <clears throat> Joyce will come here later. Just give it to her as soon as she comes, okay? I've been calling you, Ocho, and you're not taking my call. You called me just once. Why is it you've been calling me and not taking your call? Let me show you. Fifteen minutes calls. I thought you said it was just once. But... I totally forgot my phone was on silent. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Are you serious, Ken? Take your stars walking in the place. What do you think? You would have caused us the damage of a woman sum of hundred million.
chat. I mean, not, yes, oh yes. You checked and Chris checked. The same way you refused to pick my code that made me rush down to this place. You made a great mess in all the documents you handled today. Come on, bro. I decided to check the document before submitting it as you pleaded. I, I will help you submit them. And I am, I'm gradually losing my mind. I don't know what to do. It feels like my world is crashing right before my eyes. I know. You just have to take it easy on yourself. All we need is God's intervention. You don't need to hit his heart on yourself. Oh, yes. Mr. Kane, I'm Mr. Fred. I have a good news for both of you. Yeah. She's making a U-turn and she's responding to treatment person. Yeah. So all she needs is love and affection. Right. Mm. The same love that drew her will also help her to come up again. You just have to take it gradually. The one step at a time. Okay. Mm. Thank you, Doctor. So she will gradually regain her memories. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you. Take her to that very special place where she derives nothing but happiness. I'm sure it will enable her recover fast. As well as getting back a memory. That's a good one. That's a good one. All I am doing is for the good of all men and for the love of one woman, Benita. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thanks for everything. Honestly, you have no idea all I've been through trying to, you know, hide this from my family and that of Benita's. Thanks for everything. Thanks for your sacrificing your time. Thanks for being there for me. I mean, the time given, everything. Thanks. You don't have to thank me. That's what friends do. Benita is more than a sister to me. Thank you.
now, wait up. Babe, babe, babe. Huh? Babe. Oh my goodness. My good brother. My, 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 oh, I'm, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry, please. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. sorry, sorry. I, she's, she's, um. She's all okay. You're going to be fine. Um, I'm, 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 so, you know what? I'll just get another plate for you. Wait up! I'll just get them to get you another one. She's all okay. I'm just there. I'm just there. Please. I'm sorry for the mask on to you. I'm sorry. It's all right. It's all right. Um, can I get you another one real quick? Wait. No, no, don't worry yourself, okay? She can help you. I'll give myself another one. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. You're so kind. You're far too kind. Thank you, thank you. No! Hey. No, Benny no, Zach. no, Benny, no, 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 babe, 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 Ah! Ah! You're just there! What do you to do? Okay. <laughs> Just <laughs> ah. All right, all right. Oh. <laughs> this guy should do something about this. I'm doing sister. something, baby. Baby, baby. If you ever ask me, please, please. baby. Please, please. Don't worry, something. About this, please, babe. She's not okay. Mm. She's just been alone, please. Ah! No. He's hey. romancing her. Is it part of the plan? Okay. This is way out of it. I mean, what kind of embarrassment is that? Just take a good look. You, this is too much, doctor. <laughs> embarrassing. No, 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 no. It's a blessing in disguise. What did you just say, doctor? A blessing in disguise? <laughs> doctor, how can my wife be doing this and then you call it a blessing in disguise? <laughs> yes, okay, hold on. Let me explain to you. You say you took her to the first place you put rent and you ordered for the same thing. Yes. She must have reacted when you got there. Whether good or bad, that would have been your first time. The next thing is that push button that will make her happy. Is this what you have to tell me, doctor, this evening? Is this what you have to tell me this evening? You were not there. I was there. My wife was sitting with someone she doesn't know. A complete number, a stranger sitting so happy. No, you tell me. Tell me if, if she were your wife, would you be happy? What are you talking about, doctor? What qualifications do you have? How do how are you even a how are you how are you even a, a, a doctor? Huh? <laughs> Something must have triggered it. Look for that clue. Maybe the picture and the position of where the man is sitting is exactly what's in her memory. Mr. Fred, you need to fasten your seatbelt to this flight that is about to take off. That is what you have to say. Thank you. This is all you have to tell me this evening, Doctor. Thank you. I just need to go. I want to go home. Go, huh? Babe? I want to go, man. Babe, 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 babe. Ah! Ah! Sorry. Um, are you just going to keep? Let's go, please. Please. I need to go. I need to go. How are you going to go? Not the one to me.
Ah! He was grabbing her waist. Is that part of the plan? Hey, hey, careful. All right? Oh. Are you going to help her? Hey. Ah! What time do you mention here again? What is? What was the meaning of that? What's that for? I don't know. I just don't understand. I don't understand exactly what the doctor means. What is this? You need to see what happened here before you came. I was picking slippers and my wife was hugging another man. Hugging tight. Listen, I suggest, I suggest you call on her family before this whole thing blows out of proportion. And tell them what? No, I'm asking you and tell them what? That I'm playing games with my wife, diverse paper games, and then I left my wife into another man's arms. My wife is acting abnormal. Is that what you want me to tell them? Tell them whatever. God! They are now big sleepers, and another man is hugging my wife. Ah! <laughs> Who the heck is she? I don't know who you are. Is this really going on here? He was hugging my wife! What's going on here? Uh, babe, I can explain, okay? I can explain this, please. Explain what? 
What explanation do you have to give to me when you cannot even ask her to leave? Ah! Ah! Baby, you... Ah! Ah! Hey! Wait, wait, wait. Please, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on, please. Wait, what am I waiting for? Why are you telling me hold on? It's not what you think. If it's not what I think, then what is it? She's not okay. She's not. She's in trouble, man. If she's not okay, what has that got to do with my fiancé? Is my fiancé a doctor? If she's sick, then she needs to go to the hospital. The woman in question is my wife. Your wife? Oh yes, his wife. Oh, That's why we need you to calm down. So we can explain. Please. Just try as much as you can to be calm. Please. I don't know how you will see this. Why don't you allow that young man visit your wife often? It will help her recover from me. Please. Doctor, if I heard you properly, you're asking me to give another man access to my wife. It's not really a good idea. Mike, Mike, my man, how fun man, how are you excited? <laughs> Do I dare, I dare, I dare stick to you for Nigeria now, eh? <laughs> Guy, you do me like that now, eh? Look soon. Yeah, no more lupus, no more lupus, no more Everybody's fine. Yeah, my woman, she's in the room. She's okay. My bro, I do, you know, it turns out for this side, you know, you just had time, you know, you swear, swear to her. No more, no more, no more, no more, no more. Your car is okay. Your car is in perfect condition now. No more. I don't use and prove someone a guy. You know, this way this car don't carry me go like this. Or at the cause problems for road. Can your ride should die? I tell you, your car is in perfect condition since I was using as a little now. No more, no more, no more, no more. No more, no more, no more, no more. No more, no more, no more, no more. No more, no more, no more, no more, no more. Guys, so now you can't go All right, okay, I'll call you later now. All right. Hey, babe. This one, you're all angry. Your face is like this. What was this one? My love. Talk to me now. I don't want to say it again. Now I'm your love. When you were busy giving that lady attention, you did not remember I was your love. Ha! <laughs> Babe, I was only trying to help now. now. What would you have wanted me to do? Huh? Trying to help? Get... At the expense of your own girlfriend. Happiness. There is no feelings attached. Besides, Benita is someone's wife. And the mother. So, what, what would you be thinking I'm having... Hold on, uh... hold on. Is there a place where a married woman cannot fall in love with a single guy? My love, I have you really, and you're enough for me. You're beautiful, you're amazing, you're gorgeous. So why, why else would I be looking at another man's wife while I have my own here? Come on, baby. Huh? Mm -hmm. I love you, and you know this. Huh? You belong to me, and I belong to you. My heart belongs to you as well. Mm -hmm. You bring me so much happiness. Mm -hmm. I love you beyond words. Believe me. 
you everything I ever asked God for. <laughs> no? I'm not okay. A don't wash me again. Baby, <laughs> I'm not washing you. I'm telling you now. I'm being real here with you. Baby. Love him. Eh? Uh, before you go any further, where's the money you promised to each other? Oh, that reminds me, baby. Next week, I promise I'll win for you next week, please. Okay, next week, I'll make sure I pay you a cake. Okay. Mm. Okay. I you, I'm so, so sorry, okay? You know, okay, I'm working on something, so the business is going to quit next week, so I'll fetch you up going to work. I'm feeling I'll double it. Hmm? You double it? Of course, come here. <laughs> come here, my beautiful wife. Oh. Oh. Look how funny mm. baby she is. So you see, this used to be our usual spot. I asked her why she wanted this exact place and then she said why she wanted to see everyone that comes into this place. <laughs> just take a good, just take a good look at my wife. So you tell me, what am I going to do?
Can't help go. Fred. Fred. Come on, Fred. With this last shot of mine, I swear if God delivers me from this lion's den, I'll never go close to the zoo again. <laughs> oh, pardon my manners. I'm sorry I'm smiling. What is it? I wish God can show us the end of some things so we can avoid it completely over what it may bring us. Yeah. You think if I knew things would turn out this way, I wouldn't have avoided it? I'm just thinking of how she would accept this whole thing when she comes back. Her reactions towards me is another thing I am strongly preparing for. What if she decides to divorce you? Because you've totally made her life a big mess. What will you do? Well, I summon both families. I have a big surprise for them. Very well. Let's keep our fingers crossed. But for the meantime, let me beat you like a kid you are on this ball. But not after taking my own shot. to the ward, I can't find my family. Yeah, Are you asking me that question? I didn't know I was supposed to be under your care. Where is my family? Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'll send it that way, please. I'll just come back from another hospital where I went to conduct the operation. Where is my family? No, no, no. I have to... I where is my family? No, no, please. Again. Again, I can't find my family. I've got Joyce. Her phone is off. You don't understand. I've tried to reach everybody I know just to get in touch with them, but nobody. No one seems to know where they are. Where they are. Again, I, I think I'll just go over to Stanley's place. You never can tell. Maybe Stanley took them in. His phone is off, Ken. Can't you just listen? He's off. Yes, yes, please, please, please. Do everything that you can, please. Try for me, my brother, please. Please, please, please. All right, just call me if anything comes up. All right, all right, all right, thank you. Thank you.
what is all this? All of a sudden, you realized you have a wife and want to care about her well being, right? You think I will see? Daddy, it seems like mommy won the game. What game? Yes, game. Like you told me when I caught you carrying mommy from the bedroom to the living room. Oh, hey, man, I'm afraid I'm not part of this from the onset. I was briefed. Neither was I party to it. I just got to find out when I first met you. Why? I should be the one asking you why. Fred, why did you do that to me? Why did you touch on me this much? I will sleep in the room you will bring me to the sitting room. I was wondering what was wrong with me. Why did you do that to me, Fred? What have I done to deserve all of that? As if that is not enough. You served a divorced paper. How heartless could you be? Well, if you must know, you promised her a big tour. I promised her mother's undying love. And she spilled your secret. Just a mother's thing. Do not tell me nothing because I have been watching you and there is something big bothering you. Something big? Yes, something big. 
And you think I don't know? <sighs> My child. You're still a baby. And you know absolutely nothing about feelings yet. I'm serious, Mom. In fact, I know why you're crying. And I'm ready to let go of the toy that was promised to me to tell you a big secret that will make you win. <sighs> big secret? What's that? What secret? Who promised you a toy? I will not tell you unless you tell me why you're crying. I'll tell you, in as much as you're still a child, but I know you'll grow into a beautiful woman someday. You see, I, I wouldn't want you to hear it from outsider or your father. I would want to tell you myself, hence I'm going to do this. Princess, your father and I are going our separate ways. I don't understand, Mom. Okay. <sighs> Listen. Your father is divorcing me. I've talked to him to make him change his mind. I've pleaded with him, but he wouldn't budge. He kept on insisting on a divorce. For some time now, I sleep in the room. I wake up in the sitting room. I don't know why that is happening. I guess that's the reason your father wants to divorce me. And he's eating me up. This is not what I ever wanted for us. I love my husband. I love you, baby. I love our family. I never envisaged this. Hence, I'm broke. But I'll be fine. Tell me. Yes, baby. You must promise me that you'll keep a secret. And you buy me an even bigger toy than daddy promised me. I will. You know I can do anything for you, my princess. Tell me. Daddy said he's playing a game with you and he wants to win. That's why he keeps carrying you from the bedroom to the living room in the night. He wants you to fall for him and make him to win. Thank you, stars. Our daughter here is your saving grace. My intentions got out of proportion. This wasn't my plan at all. Please. Find it in your heart to forgive me. Please. Don't touch me. I will not. You are heartless. You are mean. You are very, very wicked, Fred. Do you, know, do you know the amount of stress you put me through? Do you know the magnitude of what you did to me? And look at you. Here. Expecting me to throw everything to the wind and forgive you. You destroyed every bit of feelings I had for you. You shattered the love I had for you. The only person that kept me in this house up until now is our child princess. Else I would have been long gone. I love you. But you don't love me. You don't even know what love is all about. You can't treat me like this. If you truly love me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 
This wasn't my intention at all. There's no point, Nelly. If you know what's good for you, stand up and continue with your game. There is no game. Benita, find it in your heart to forgive me. Please. He's my cousin. So, Joyce, that's all of it. You must have minded it. Well, I only give an advice. An ordinary ABC turned out to be an equation. That's why I rushed in and I suggested the nearest hospital when she passed out. And the doctor is working with us. Myself. As a matter of fact, you've really done too much to yourself for hurting me so dearly. Do you know the amount of what you did to me? What happened to you? Fred, what happened to us? People envied us. Everything was moving smoothly. We were perfect. Then you suddenly changed. Ah, good morning, darling. You're ready for work? Yes, I am. Let me help you adjust your collar. So, um, it's better you stay for a breakfast. Mm, nope. I want beverages. But there are things there's no beverages at home. So, I'll take coffee at work. Then, Go to market, stock up the house with some beverages. Hmm? Okay. All right, baby, do have a beautiful day at work. You too. Um, go through it, sign it. I'll see you when I come back from work. Mm. I'll call you. Take good care of yourself. I love you. I love you very much. Hi, hi, how are you?
Why would Fred want to do this? Tell me Fred wants that without any reason. I just told you we're fine. As a matter of fact, we live in peace. We've not been having issues. I'm just, I'm just confused. This is not ordinary. Something is wrong somewhere. And you don't need to relent. What would you rather have me do? Joyce, tell me. I just told you we're cool, nothing is wrong. All of a sudden, he woke me up this morning and saved me the later. Just like that? Just like that! Yeah. Pearl, it's a little late right now, but I'll advise you, do not sign it. Tell him to give you some time to sort yourself out. I'll talk to him about it. Mm -hmm. well, I think that sounds good. Thank you. I think that will work. It's okay. So where are my goods? Rita! Rita! Please bring my friend's order, okay? Don't no worry, I'll give you your 5% discount. Oh, thank you, guys. And I have a top I'd like to give to you, just a gift from me to you. Oh, I thought you wanted me to spend money. No, don't worry, I got you. <laughs> Hey babe, um, are you still at the shop or would you want me to come pick you? Huh? It was fine and just. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can go freshen up while I serve dinner. Dinner is ready. It is ready. Wow. All right. I'll be down in the jiffy. All right. All right. In the jiffy. What is really going on? What are you up to? 
Are you serious? Or you're acting a movie? Is this some sort of trick or something? What exactly is going on? You're confusing me. I don't understand what you're talking about. Well, I was talking about Princess. Oh, Princess. That reminds me. They should be vacating in two days' time, so she should be home. You know I never liked this idea of boarding school. How many times do we need to repeat this word? Boarding school is best for her. I'm always busy. You are too. So who will take care of her if she's home? Boarding is most preferable if you ask me. Hmm. You are such a good girl. You know why? What? Mm. Great man. Is it? I want us to talk. Uh, talk? Hey, can it wait till morning? Mm -mm. No, I want us to talk now. about the letter you gave me this morning. I've been wondering, why do you want a divorce? Why? All that. I... 
I know that you love me and I love you too. But you see this whole commitment, responsibilities, I don't think I'm ready for it. Something is weighing me down. I don't get it. I don't understand you. We are doing very fine. Everything is moving well. Your work, my shop. I mean, we are good. Why would you want to divorce me? Sweetie, it's not about your shop. It's not about my work either. I just want you to understand me. I'm not used to this kind of deep commitment. But that's not to say you don't love me. That's not to say love doesn't exist here. It's just that, you know, just not ready. What? It's late. Let's try and sleep. Hmm? Okay. Baby. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Maybe I've wronged you and you don't want to talk to me about it. I just want to apologize. I love you so much, Fred. I don't want a divorce. Babe, I want babe, you. Babe, babe, babe. Please. It's not about you. It's about what then? Have you signed the divorce paper? A lawyer needs to see it. Well, I haven't. You need to give me some time for it. It's not as easy as it looks. I, 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 I didn't plan to ever divorce you. It came as a shock to me. I need time to, to process this whole thing. I need time to, to come in terms with the fact that you you are no longer mine. I need time to, to, to summon the courage to sign the papers. And, and? I need some time. Good. How much time do you need? Fred, do you really want to do this? Oh, goodness. Are we going to keep talking about this over and over again? It is what it is. Just tell me. How long do you need to sign the papers? How much time you need? Give me a month. One month then. See you later. Crazy or something? What do you mean you want to divorce me? Benita and I have been having serious issues, and it doesn't look like what I want for marriage. Not the same guy. What are you talking about? Listen, you have a good job. She's doing well in business. You love her, and she loves you too. So what could be the reason? There are too many commitments. 
so many responsibilities. I am not sure I'm ready. Wait a minute. Are you running away from responsibilities? Oh, is that why you want to divorce her? Then you need some medical examination. Listen, let me tell you. Benita is the best to work. If you lose her, you regret it the rest of your life. Why would you want to divorce her? Honestly, you will never be happy in case you're seeing another woman. What are you talking about? You know me, I'm not a cheat, you know. I love Benita. It's just that I don't think that... I don't think we're compatible, that's it. You love her. I can hear you talk. You love Benita and yet you want to divorce her. Anyway, like I said, you need some medical examination. Yes, you need to be examined. Love indeed. Love Benita and yet you want to divorce her. What is it? This thing has been eating me up. Welcome, my sister. Thank you. I decided to come see you since I haven't heard from you since morning. Did you sign it? I did as you asked. Oh, yeah. So what was his reaction? Surprisingly, nothing. We just worked out. <laughs> now, he accepted it. I have this feeling Fred is seeing someone else. I can understand why you're feeling that way, but no, my husband is the most faithful and caring man on earth. He can't possibly be seeing any woman. I'm sure he's not cheating on me. I'm trying to figure out where, where all this problem is coming. So why is he doing all this? That's, what? That's a million question I can't answer. Don't you think he's out of How are you doing? Fine. And your day? Great. I thought you said you were closing up on a cold. Hmm. I feel you'd be hungry by now, so I said to get you something. I was hungry, but I'm making now because I've been thinking about a whole lot. I understand. Work stress. Well, not to worry, everything will be fine. Hmm? I'll just be on my way now. Okay. Thank you. So, who are you? Hmm? Be good. Work stress is out. Fred, look me in the eyes and tell me you truly want this divorce. I truly want this divorce. Just waiting for time to elapse. No, you don't. You're obviously lying to yourself because if you truly want this divorce, you would have stopped caring. Why are you caring? Why are you keen about me? My bad. Why that way? I cannot stop being caring. I'm just like that. You just lied. You know why are that way? I know what it is. I know the game you're playing with me. You're trying to break me. You are toying with my emotions. I get it. I get the Jack. You want to see me cry? You want to break me? Fred, you have done all of that to me. Could you please stop now? I take exceptions to that. 
I do not like to see you cry. It's just that it's not something I want. I'm not ready. I need that to get into your thick head. No. That's not the point. I know what it is, Fred. You found someone else. You're seeing someone else. You are doing everything to get me off your way so you can enjoy life with a special person you have. Could you please tell me who the girl is? Who is she? Benita. You're one of the people who know me well. And I'm not a cheat. I'm just not ready. That doesn't mean I don't love you or not. Oh, please stop it. What do you know about love? Do you even know anything about love? Fred, you don't love me. Because if you do, you will never ask for a divorce, especially when I know I haven't done anything wrong to you. My heart is broken. But I want this divorce. Over. Out. Fred, we're still talking. No. Fred, you're walking out on me. Fred, I said, what? Fred! Again. What is happening to me? I want to know why you abandoned me here when you leave and go to sleep. Hmm? I abandoned you. Are you serious? What is going on? <laughs> this doesn't make sense to me. You slept in your room and found yourself in your living room. Is it that somebody took you there or maybe you sleep well? I'm perplexed. I don't know what to say. The, the whole thing is so, so confusing to me. Things are becoming more complicated. You're right. I've never experienced this before. This is confusing. It is. I don't know. I tried to think to know how I got there. Unfortunately for me, I, I, I couldn't wrap my head around it. I, I couldn't figure out anything. Do you sleep that deep? I don't know. Everything is happening so fast. Okay, and I'd like to ask you something. Okay. I just want to know your opinion on this issue. And what? For instance, someone slept in the bedroom and wakes up in the sitting room. What must have happened to that person? Oh, well, that can only happen to the one sleeping walking to the place oh being carried to the sitting room and this can either happen to someone who sleeps deep sleep deep so um what is that other one you spoke about the 
talking, sleeping, or oh. sleepwalking. Oh, sleepwalking. Yeah. We also have sleep talking. Uh, this basically happened to those sleeping while those sleeping and talking. Mm. And like I said, it can either happen to those persons that sleep deep. Or why do you ask? Um, I just wanted to know. I see. Please, she has to stay with you. I have lots of work to do at the office, so I'll, I'll see you guys when you get home. So, what's going to happen to my daughter after the divorce? She's fine. 
She's in the boarding school, so she stays there. No, Fred. I'll take her with me. Who made you the judge of that? Why on earth do you think that you would say what happens with our daughter? <laughs> How about your divorce plan? Are you also planning to keep it away from her? Won't you let her know you're divorcing me? Well, like I said earlier, she's still later. When she comes of age, she would appreciate me for what I did. Fred, do you think you're doing the best for your family? I'm doing the best for me. Including the divorce plan? Exactly. Joyce, I won't lie to you. It's becoming more frustrating. It happened again. But well, fortunately for me, I woke up before dawn. I had to quickly go back to the room to sleep with my husband and my child. God, this is becoming something of great concern. I think I should go for church counseling. I need to seek spiritual help. I'm confused. How long has this been going on? It started a day after he asked me to sign the divorce papers. I don't know Fred for being diabolic. I would have said he knows something about it. I'm thinking, are you not sure Fred didn't find out about this and decided to go for divorce rather than asking me what's going on? Because I don't understand this, this, the, the sudden change in his attitude. Perhaps, but he should have found a way to solve it, not a divorce. What do you want me to say? I swear, I'm just, I'm just confused. I don't know what to believe again. God, I'm really confused myself, but we have to think of something. This is not normal. I know something is wrong somewhere, but I, I, I can't just place my hand on it. Now that your daughter is back, tell me. Will you still go ahead with the divorce? Princess is only here for vacation. In three weeks, she will go back. Moreover, she's still a kid. She doesn't know what is going on. So one day, she will know the reason you divorced the mother. So what will you do about that? By then, she must have come of age. 
and she will agree to me the reason I divorced her mother. Fred, would you just cut off this whole crap and put your family together? Can we just stop talking about my family, my personal affair? Hmm. Yes. And then we'll talk about something else. Maybe what? Oh, that reminds me. Lunch time is over, so can we just start heading back to work? Remember, you have an account you haven't reconciled yet. I've done that. And I've submitted it as so, which you signed. So what are you talking about? Of this whole thing, admit this whole thing and change. Are you ready? Let's go. I'm just confused, especially about the recent experiences. I will sleep in the bedroom, wake up in the living room. I don't know why that is happening to me. He knows about it? Yes. And we've been having issues because of it. I'm confused. I can't even wrap my head around how I left the bedroom and walked down to the living room. Okay, let me assume someone is taking me to the living room. The question is, who is the person? He once told me about it, but he wasn't precise. He didn't even tell me it was you. He was mad at me the last time. He felt I intentionally, deliberately left the bedroom to the living room. But that's not what happened. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, but I'm confused. I love my husband so much. Well, it's okay, I'll, I'll talk to him, right? But please do not sign any paper for any reason, okay? I will not. Thank you so much for the lunch. Take me back to my office. It's okay. <laughs> Mommy, I hope you and Daddy will celebrate my birthday in school. A last parent celebrated her birthday in school. Um, Princess, I don't think you celebrate your birthday in school. But trust me, we're going to give you a very big birthday party. How about the amusement park, the biggest one? Hmm? No, Daddy, please. I want to celebrate my birthday in school. Don't worry, my princess. You will celebrate your birthday in school. Okay. Yay! <laughs> I love you, Mommy. I love you, my baby. I love you, Daddy. I love you, too. Fred. Do you want to divorce me because of the constant sleep in the room and waking up in the sitting room? Far from it. July. I know that's the reason. But well, that's not the right decision. I'm your wife for crying out loud. We should come together and look for a solution, not you seeking for a divorce. And I said far from it. In case you don't know, I had an awful experience the previous night. Luckily for me, I woke up before dawn and joined you and our child on the bed. How long is this going to keep happening to me? That's strange. Strange. Is that all you have to say? What else will you have me say? Strange. This is strange.
I don't know. I woke up and found myself in the sitting room. I can't tell how I got there. Listen, let me tell you, if you lose that woman, you're going to regret it. Ken, my life, my family, my personal business. You are my friend. And that makes it my business. Also, remember, that woman has done you no wrong. That woman is innocent. I mean, if she have a problem, go ahead and help her out. Not to divorce her. Yeah. We've been friends. You know I'm not a bad person. I don't maltreat her, I don't treat her less than I'll treat a queen. But things are not going on well with me. So you want her out of your life so things can go well with you? Is it what you're saying? My personal business, I said that earlier. Oh no. Oh no. This is not personal. There are certain matters that are not personal. And divorce is not one of it. I think at this point, we don't have any conversation anymore. Really? Yes, really. Excuse me. Stay out of my car. I think I'm also done with a lunatic like you. Stop the nearest cab. Bounce! Greetings in the presence of our daughter. What is going on? I should be the one asking you if it has gotten to you telling Ken. I believe Ken is now your ally. I don't understand. Make it make sense to you. All right. I'll make it make sense to you. I see Ken is now your ally, godfather, best of friends, mentor. He now tells you what to do. So he has the infantry to come challenge me on what to do in my own house. Perhaps he challenged you because he knows you're off the track. I'm off the track. Someone who knows nothing about relationship, courtship, friendship, love, marriage, now talks to me about divorce. What does he know? I didn't, I didn't tell him to challenge you. I just complained about your recent attitude to him and he offered to speak to you. Good. He did well. Guess what? I'm listening to him and I'm not going to divorce you. Are you serious? 
end of discussion. It's nothing. I decided to sleep in the living room. Did daddy tell you not to come back to sleep with us? No, your father never said that to me, okay? Then why are you crying? carry mommy out of the room in the night.
Um, princess, you see. Princess, did you tell mom that I always take her to the city overnight? No. Aha, uh -huh. take five. Aha. Uh -huh. You see, princess, um, mom and I are playing a game. Hmm? If you tell her, she will win. If you don't, it means I'll win. And when I win, I am definitely going to get to your favorite toy. Huh? Right? So now you hurry to the kitchen to help mom. Hmm? Remember, do not tell mom that I take her to the sitting room at night. Secret? Okay, I won't tell. I trust you. Beautiful princess. Secret? Secret. Good. Now I'll see you in the kitchen. Okay. Bye. So, um, have you been able to sign the divorce paper yet? Not yet. Maybe by weekend. Good. So, um, have you been able to search yourself out? If I haven't, I will ask for more time. And I'm certain she will give. I cannot guarantee that. But there's always a way around everything. No. Not everything has a way around it. Not everything you buy through the back door. You're right. Just like the divorce. You're not making any sense to me. So all this while you never had a concrete reason to divorce her. And now you want to go back to her to tell her you're no longer interested in the divorce. How? I know it's hard. But that is exactly what I am going to do when I go to her. Now what if she has made up her mind? to go through the divorce. What if she has packed her things and leave the house before you get there? What will you do? What is it? But all this was, was a test for me to know how loyal she could be. To know her character better, to know if she's compatible, to know if she truly loves me. But you know, it all, it all got out of hand when I started taking her to the sitting room to sleep. Wait a minute. Hold on. You've been the one carrying her to the sitting room all along. God. Honestly, this is wickedness. Listen, you are going to explain all this to her. I'm definitely not going with you. You mean, you've been playing with your wife's life all this while? This is wickedness and very expensive. She was supposed to sign the papers today. I know what I'll do. I get home and found that she has signed the papers. I'll just tear it and tell her it was an act to find out how much she loves me, her patience, and to know if, if we're compatible. You know what I think? 
I pray you, she does not forgive you. And if I get home and she hasn't signed the papers yet, I'll realize that she has an unending love for me. And I will not just cherish her for the rest of my life, but I will surprise her with a gift. A car was a gift. Can you hear yourself talk? Of course she loves you. You know she loves you very much. Let me tell you, no woman will endure what she has endured in her days. And you think buying her a car gift will make any Let the game begin. We can play the game together. There is no game. Benita, you win. There is no game. Please. I know I messed up. I know I took this whole thing too far. I'm sorry. You don't have to be sorry. You have a stolen heart. Please. And I will not forgive you. No, everybody, please, please, please. No amount of please will make me change my mind. Just the way you didn't change your mind when I was going through a lot. I wasn't serious. Oh, really? I wasn't serious. We will play the game to the end. No, Benita. It all ends here. Don't stretch it. No, it will. Don't stretch it, please. Mm -hmm. Don't even say that, Joyce. This game will not end here. Even if every other person here doesn't know what I went through because of him. My ex-husband, you know everything. You know the dangerous experience in that forest. What, what if we had lost our lives? Maybe you would have come to the grave to say you're sorry. Uh, right? Uh, Probably drop some bruises. No. Uh, no. Uh, uh, Lisa, please. Do you, know, do you know what we went through all in the name of asking and seeking for results why you changed? Things are not getting any better. It keeps getting worse. Why? Why kill yourself with so much heartbreak? You have to be strong. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. Yes. Why did you say that? Which tunnel? <laughs> the problem share is a problem half solved. I don't understand. Well, I spoke to somebody about your situation and she took me somewhere. You did? Yes. The person took you somewhere. Choice. I hope this somewhere you're talking about is not some native doctor's place. I just told. Madam, are you concerned about where we're going to? Or if it's actually going to bring a solution to your problem? I think you're right. I love Fred. I can't I can afford to miss him. I would do everything humanly possible within my power to save my marriage. Now you're talking. Mm -hmm. So, are we, are we going? Rita, yes, get my bag and my car please. Okay. Be fast. Fast. I'll be back. Okay. <laughs> Joyce, why are you laughing? What's wrong? <sighs> no, nothing. I'm just surprised at how you took off without a second thought. Name. I had to. Do you, do, you, do you know what I'm going through? 
And most importantly, you gingered my mind. Those right words from you encouraged me and motivated me. I can't wait to see the end of this. I can't afford to lose my husband though. I love Fred so much. I can't afford to lose him. So I will do everything within my power to secure my marriage and my love. You won't lose him. You won't. <laughs> Thank you so much, darling. I wonder what I would have done without you. You are a friend indeed. In fact, you're my sister. Thank you, John. You're welcome. We're sisters, so we have each other's back. Anytime, any day. Thank you. Ah, I can't wait for everything to be over. You surprised me. Oh. Yeah. I no, you did. Mm. <laughs> oh, never did you so. Okay. <laughs> Breakfast now, you <laughs> <laughs> Because you didn't come here for that. You came here to get your issues resolved. You started again. I'm scared. We are in the middle of nowhere. I'm feeling scared. Let's follow this road. Are you sure? Yeah, follow me. Joyce, you actually followed your friend down to this place just to find a solution for me. Yes, I had to follow so I should know where I'm bringing you to. And we're here now. Any more questions? Because we're close. Not any for now. Um, um, talking about my husband, what if he gets to my shop and I'm not there? What explanation am I going to give to him? So what? You're actually here because you want to please him and make you love him more. So what? What? It's okay, it's okay. Uh, I appreciate every bit of your help. I didn't mean to get you upset. Stop looking back. You should be thinking of how to bring your husband back. Then throw your concern to the lady who has refused to make use of her life, but has chosen to make her life useless. Stop looking at your friend as if we discussed you before she brought you here. <laughs> to brief you on how powerful this place is. To your amazement this morning, your husband gave you a very hot kiss before leaving. And you cried for hours, wondering what his motives were. What was behind his actions?
Your friend was not there, was she? And you've not told her about it, did you? So what exactly do you want? To get your husband back or to remote control him? I want to get my husband back. Yes, all she wants is a husband she married. Mm. <clears throat> You have heard what she said. Grant her her heart's desire. Mm. You shall have your wishes. But everything goes with a price. Every good thing goes with a price. The price to pay. I know they need some money. I know definitely it's kind of thing you need money, but this amount is huge. Listen, Joyce, money is not my problem. Even if he demands me selling my shop, I wouldn't hesitate to do that. I can do anything. Yes, I can do. Desperation. I want to do everything within my power to save my marriage and have my husband back. That's desperation. And you know every hungry man out there will pounce on you just to get, make good of this situation. Joyce, we are beginning to waste the time we don't have. We need to proceed already. Please. The money is too much. Oh, wait, 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 wait. The lady there seems like someone I know. And I think there's something she was trying to tell me. Wow. I thought you make me laugh. If not, I know you have issues. I would have said you needed to see a doctor. You're losing it. How can somebody, how can a deaf and dumb try to tell you something? Does that even make sense? I know what I'm talking about. I, I can feel it. There's something. <sighs> You're not done settling your issues. Now you're thinking about another person's problem. Are you serious? Let's go. We don't have time. Benita, mm -hmm. if you withdraw this money, won't your bank manager tell your husband? Huh? Don't worry. That's why we're going. We're going to see him. I want to talk to him. Talk to him about what? You won't tell him the lady doctor demanded for some money? You never said that. I'm not a child. He's not my family member or my or my husband. So don't worry. I'll handle it. Stop. 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 Yes, stop. Why? Just stop, please. Okay, stop. We need to talk. Oh, what is it you want us to talk about? Can we wait till we get there? No. We are running late. Okay. I've been expecting your husband's call till now, but he hasn't called. So what did you tell the bank manager? What I told him. <laughs> I told you not to worry yourself about that, and I'll I'll handle it. I did handle it. I gave him two hundred thousand to get one point five million. Oh, now this is outrageous. What is outrageous is the way you're acting. What is wrong with you? See, I just feel like the path we're treading is it's not the right path. Are you serious? Yes. Are you alright? Yes, I'm okay. How can you say that? Look, I know I want your marriage to work. I really want everything to be fine with your home again, but I don't feel like this is the right I path. I do not understand you. 
you went as far as following your friend to that place so you can get the road and take me there why all of a sudden are you feeling the way you're feeling i'm having a second thought i i, I don't feel i don't feel anything right okay fine fine you're having a second thought probably you don't want us to go to that place again i understand so what's the option what's the alternative you don't, you don't have any option. You don't have any alternative. Just listen to yourself. Why now? Why now we are almost at the verge of solving this problem? You know everything I'm going through in my marriage. What do you expect me to do? What would you rather have me do? Please, please, I guess the devil is trying to use you. Don't allow it to work. No devil is using me, Benita. No devil is using me. I, I just feel like something is see, not see, see, right. See, everything is right. Okay? The most important thing is that I have found a solution to my problem. Mm -hmm. He promised to do it and I am not relenting. I'm not backing out. Let's go. Anita. Band. Pick up. I can't. Why? Okay. What will I tell him? Tell him anything that comes to your head. Like, if I tell him I'm somewhere and he decides to come meet me there, what will I tell him if he gets Tell him another place, then you switch off your phone. That would be lying. That would be me lying to him and it wouldn't be. Okay, you know what? I'd rather switch off my phone. Then do it. Yes, let me just switch off my phone and probably when I turn it on, I will tell him that. I went out with you, my phone, I had low battery and I didn't go out with charger. Now Does you're going to make me to lie. Let's go. <laughs> Keep this phone in my car. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. What is it? Why are you shrugging? What is the problem? Eh? Look, Benita, I know I told you about all of this, but my spirit is down. I feel like something bad is going to happen. Are, are you kidding me right now? I know the devil is trying to use you to frustrate this movement, but I won't let that happen. That's not it. You don't get it. Like, what if this man takes this 1.5 million and doesn't solve any solution or doesn't bring any solution to our problems and even kill us? That's so hilarious. He wouldn't do that. You know he can't do a thing like that. It's very possible. Like, it's money we're talking about here. It's money. Okay, look. What can he buy here with 500,000? Let us know 1.5 million. Joyce, I've seen 99 and I am not scared of 100. I will get to the root of this problem and I will make sure I solve it. Let's go. Huh. I have a bad feeling. It's not going to be I don't know why you're changing your mind. <laughs> I've counted the money. So, Ezedibia, what do we do now? Yes, I have to go into the next village to procure some herbs and animal parts that I will use for the job. You see, that was why when I mentioned 1.5 million and your friend here was shouting that it was too much. So at the end of this whole walk, you find that I may not even have up to 100,000 naira that is my own in this. 
the person that bought me here didn't mention such to me. So when I came, I saw a different thing and I was wondering if I was at the right place. And now? It makes sense. So, I will just go in there, change, go quickly and come back so that I can settle both of you and I can return to the city before it's dark. Thank you, is it dark? See you later. So, are you still in doubt? No. <laughs> Thank God I'm very strong-willed. If not, you nearly made me change my mind. It's a good thing you didn't change your mind. Listen, I'm out to put an end to whatever that is bringing frustration in my marriage. It's good you didn't listen to me. I will never listen to you. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> Chief, Chief. Chief, Chief. <laughs> yeah, I'm good, I'm good. And uh, how are you doing? It's a family. Uh, yes, yes, I um Yeah, it will be ready within the next one hour. Yeah. No, 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 Chief. Uh, listen, now, uh, listen to me first. Yeah. See, the cost of getting good ones is high. Right now. So they're coming down. I have to increase. Uh huh. So you have to add something for me. Yes, yeah, something very, very reasonable. So that's what I'm talking about. Hmm? The cost of getting good ones is high. So, <laughs> ah, no problem, no problem. The next one hour. Ah, I promise you. Okay. Deal. All right. Anita, don't you think you switch on your phone now and call your husband? If I call him, what will I tell him? Tell him. Say you went out of town to buy some goods. Anything. I don't think that's a good idea. I would rather call him on our way home, by then we would have been done with everything. If you say so. Yes. Let's focus on what brought us here and leave. You're Please. right. What, what took you guys so long? You know, I'm a businessman. I work with time. Time. 
Oze mm. no go verse. That's something I need to make us come late. So make your blood never hurt. Okay. Go get your tools. I have a very important client to attend to within the next one hour. One hour. Get your tools quickly. Alpha, you had a good day. My place. Your place. Yes. Oze mo. You never hear the latest update. What is that? Our price don't go high now. We don't upgrade. So you need to top some block now, you know. You must be. Big. What are you talking about? I as a moment in the trailer, you know, because I see being on a block man you collect. Now so. 300 k or nothing. You understand? I see being a one step up our game. We don't know the legit matters. Now. Legit. Okay. Go get your tools. Alright. Let's go. It's a more for the men. It's a more what doings. Hello. We don't have time. We don't have time. It's a more for the men. What do you mean for the men? Uh, Hello. 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 If this works out, I'll definitely throw a party as if I won presidential election if this works for me. <laughs> of course it would work. It would. Hello. How are you? Why where is he? Who? He means the little doctor. Okay, he went to get the material he'd be working for us with. He's not what you think he is. What are you trying to say? What do you mean by that? Most women who come here to be worked for, they never get out alive. He has kept me here for a long time. He has been sleeping with me, beating me, without giving me food. All in the name that I came to look for solution to my husband who's always having issues with me. If he said he has gone to look for what to work with for you, then he has gone to call the men that kill for him. Huh? Did you say kill? Yes. Are you serious? He sells body parts. I told you I was talking about this thing. You can go inside. There's a big tank in there. Take a look and confirm for yourself. <coughs> Oh. Please help me stand up. We need to get out. Oh, Jesus! God! 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 It's true! Jesus, Freddy will not kill me. True. He sells human parts. We need to leave here now. Now, now, now. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. We have to go. Please try, please try. Stand. Please. Hey. God. We have to go. God. Fred. Oh, oh my goodness. You have to stand up. Is it Monday guy? As the Dibia. I beg you, get it to one big for her. Run out for us. Is it Mom? We won't make you grant us the opportunity. Look, we enjoy the girls before we go butcher them. Butcher them, woto, woto. As long as you walk according to time, no problem. Ah, no it's problem. the moment when you to be called. It's the Monday guy. <laughs> you know what I think? Uh, but let me warn you. No one must go close to my drum. She is my sweet potato. It's potato. potato. There is no problem. Potato. Potato. It's the Monday guy.
کل تو هست که دیگه Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hey! Go, go, go! Fight everywhere! Oh my God! Oh, Jonah! I'm tired. Please, you always want to get into the car and drive off. Please. I need to rest. Please. You always want to get into the car and drive off. Please. I need to rest. I'm tired. See, we need to go. Living here is like handing ourselves over to them for them to kill us. We need to leave right now. You two should go. You need to run off to your car to get help. But please don't forget the number and address I gave you of my parents. Should in case anything happened to me. No, 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 no. Nothing is going to happen to you. We will all live your life. Please, let's go. Let's go. Let's help her. I would love I to go. Try. I don't have any strength left in me. The more you wait here, you two will be in danger. Just go. Just go. Just go. Let's go! What have you done? Where are those girls with you? Hey! See this girl, oh? So you don't put sand for Wagari? Just like that! Ta! 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 You do what, yeah? Are you going to collect everything now? Oh no! You're going to collect everything now! You're going to collect! I don't like it! You're going to collect it! Are you mad? Ta! 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 Just like that. Hmm? Hmm? They are women, I believe they might be close. Oh, see! As a DBA, those guys cannot go far. And we get this bush, we know every look and cry, every call, I call every corner for this bush. If we move now, we'll catch up with them. Look, as soon as I lay my hands on them, I will cut out Joa's heart from my. The first thing I do, cut out her heart. Do it! That guy thinks she can blind me, using my own charm against me. Let's go! go, go, go. I'm not happy at all. Go, go, go. Cut! So what now? My dear? Nothing. I will just watch him. As a matter of fact, he can continue whatever he wants to do. Just see what if I have died? <laughs> he would probably mourn me with a hate in his heart and get himself another woman. After that, right? No. I can't die because of him. I know I've not wronged him, I know I've not done anything wrong to deserve this kind of treatment, but I will let him have his way. What if you are dying? Hey, thank God for our lives. Thank God. It's not your fault, I took you It's there. not your fault, you wanted the best for me. I appreciate you, darling. Your instincts so were right after all. You should have listened to you. I told you I had a second thought about it. I was just desperate.
where are you coming from? Would you please allow me have... Oh, you think I'm joking with you? Huh? Do you think I'm joking? Where the hell are you coming from? As I said, kindly allow me to have my shower so I can have strength to really? explain to you. Really? I should allow you to go have your shower so you can have strength to explain to me for the very last time. Where are you coming from? Speak! I will explain. <sighs> How come you can run like a horse? What's up, Black we girl? See, we need to get to the car first before any other thing. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Run. Sam, Let's Sam. Go, I, think I, I think we are close to them. Yes, yes. You're right. I can spend them. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Ah, okay. Let's go. Get them. Hold them. I don't move like this. Eh? Oh the last 20 minutes, I can't even do it. So, Awawa. 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 Lot for superheroes of God. This is how these men would have been raped and killed us simply because I'm looking for a way to know why my husband is acting weird. Yeah, please. Let's just try to see if we can get home first. Uh, let's not forget to make an entry at the police station. They need to apprehend those men before they leave that forest. Immediately. Oh, what is this man driving? Get out of my way! Oh, please, please, please. Not a child. I'm tensed. Thank you. 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 So, after all that, you will expect me to forgive him. Is it possible? I will not. Please, please. Please forgive me. Please. If we're in your shoes, I will forgive him. God saved us to see this day. Please find it in your heart to forgive him. He's your husband. I know you're truly hurt, but this is not what we agreed on. Please forgive him. Come here, my baby. Come. But I will not forgive your father. Okay? Be happy, my child. Let go of me. Will I tell her? 
already told that I'm sorry. James, I just... Okay, so then the point is getting by the side.